This is an ultrasonic cleaner. It uses sound waves to clean and degrease items. This one sells on Amazon for about $40, but there are larger ones that sell for hundreds of dollars. You might have tried cleaning your bike chain with one of these, or even spent some extra money for one of these. But an ultrasonic cleaner really is the best way to get your bike chain as clean as possible. Ultrasonic cleaners can work with just tap water. But with my experience, using something like this totally awesome degreaser works a lot better. This is just some degreaser I found on the clearance shelf at Home Depot. Just going to add a little bit to this. Tap water. To show how well this degreaser works with the ultrasonic cleaner, I'm only going to clean the bottom part of this cassette. This ultrasonic cleaner has a few different settings on it. They basically just control how long the cycle will run for. I'm going to run this one for the maximum 10 minutes or 600 seconds. As soon as you start it up, you'll hear the ultrasonic noise. You can already see the grease starting to come off the cassette. So this has been running for about a minute now. You can see how cloudy the water is getting already. I'll jump back after it's finished. The 10 minute cleaning cycle is just finishing up and you can see how dirty that water has gotten. Just going to rinse off the parts now. You can still see some grease on there. Usually what I'll do is use a brush just to loosen that up as I'm rinsing. What I want to try is sending this through another cycle to see if it cleans that up anymore as opposed to just using the brush to loosen it up. Even before I send it through another cycle, you can see the side that was cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner down here on the bottom, how much cleaner that is compared to the top that was sticking out. Okay, this is after running it through two cycles on the cleaner. You can see it does a pretty good job. There is still a little bit of residue there. It brushes off really easily. I've ran this cassette through the ultrasonic cleaner a couple times now. You can see it did a pretty good job, but there is still a little bit of residue from the grease. If I worked a little harder with the brush and rinsing it off, it would probably come off. You can see it a little bit more on some of the smaller pieces here or places where grease can get stuck. I think the next test needs to be the actual chain. More contaminants can hide in between the rollers. You can see here this chain isn't even that dirty, but all of the contaminants hide in between those rollers. So I'm going to throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner, run it a couple times and see what it does. already clouding up after just a couple seconds. I ran the chain through three cycles of the ultrasonic cleaner. It wasn't perfect, but you can see how much cleaner that link is. In between, there's a little bit of grime still showing up, but I would argue that this cleans better than any of the other options out there. You could also use a solvent or some harsher degreasers. Now I have a nice clean chain on a dirty drivetrain. Before I rinsed out the inside of the ultrasonic cleaner, this is what it looked like. All of that came off of the chain without any scrubbing. That chain looked relatively clean before I started. And to see that much grease come off of it, it's pretty impressive from this little machine. Like I said, you can order these on Amazon for about 40 bucks. You know, the parks 
chain cleaning tool is about $40 as well. I think I would choose this over the parks chaining cleaning tool just because it does a lot better job of getting into those nooks and crannies. With this one I did have a little issue where I noticed it wasn't making as loud of a sound as it normally does and I would bump it or just tap it a little bit and it would start making the sound again. I don't know if that's something with just this model or an issue with it but I've now used it to clean some drivetrains, some eyeglasses. You can use all sorts of materials in here. It's great for cleaning jewelry and carburetors, other car parts that are small enough to fit in here. Even if something doesn't fit in the main compartment, you can, like I did with the larger cassette, set it half in and half out and rotate it over multiple runs of the ultrasonic cleaner. If you like this kind of content, enjoy learning about gear and how to fix it or shopping for gear be sure to check out gearchase.com subscribe to the channel for more content like this